The uh, material joins other material and garbage that goes directly into the boiler to be destroyed. The Drug Enforcement Administration teaming up with a waste facility to destroy over 13,000 pounds of prescription drugs from just one drug take back day. You know, when you look at this stuff as it comes in, it's, it's, uh, you get a mixed reaction. It's, wow, this is great, this is a lot of stuff. And then you get, wow, this is a lot of stuff. You know, there's just so much stuff that's out there. The drugs from more than 100 participating take-back locations were transported to one location in New Hampshire and then sent to a facility that specializes in burning them in a safe and what officials believe is an environmentally friendly option. It's not safe for the environment if you're flushing it down into the water stream. You think about in April, we took in 15,000 pounds of stuff, so we don't want that stuff ending up in our water stream. We want to keep New Hampshire pristine, uh, but also we need people to get this stuff out of their medicine cabinets. Given the current uh, issues out there in the communities, a, a great way to ensure that this material will not make it back onto the streets, uh, and as well, from an environmental perspective, it really is the most secure way uh, to destroy these. Getting rid of the drugs is a secure and methodical process that the DEA is committed to doing for as long as it takes to fight the drug crisis. Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.